Welcome to Engineering Studio with Dr. Mohammad Tahir. In this video, we are going to discuss about the concept of active area. So when some of the cross section is connected, so we need to use effective net area concept for calculating the strength. So AE will be equal to U time AN. Net area time reduction factor or shear lag factor. So it is the case when some of the area of the section is connected but if the whole area is connected then this shear lag factor will be equal to 1 and then AE will be equal to AN. So question is why we need to reduce this net area. So if we see this figure so here we have a channel section but only the web of this channel is connected with this plate and in the flanges of this channel section if we see at this critical section for example over here the member are the legs of this member these flanges will not be stressed 100% so they will be either partially stressed or unstressed so the only area which is resisting this applied load will be this much area and this shaded area or this dark area will not be effective to resist the applied load so we can say that our whole net area is not effective to resist the applied load there is some area which is unstressed so we need to use this reduction factor on net area to get the effective area which is actually resisting the applied loads so similarly over here if we see we have angle section so the unconnected leg will be unstressed only this there will be stress in the connected leg and some part of the unconnected leg and if we compare the stress values at different points so if we see in this plate so this plate will be connected uniformly and this angle section away from the connection will be having constant stress in both the legs but at the section at the criticals or at the joint this connected leg will have constant stress but this unconnected leg will have maximum stress near to the or adjacent to this connected leg but as it goes away from this connected leg so the stress in that leg will go on reducing so to account for that we need to apply this reduction factor and this reduction factor is termed as shear lag factor so effective net area if we want to calculate the effective net area so in case of welded connections so if our section if for example we have a channel section and this is gathered plate and it is connected with the gathered plate with only perpendicular weld so in that case we consider ae is equal to u time a and we consider this shear lag factor equal to 1 and this area will not be the grass area but it will be only the area of this connected leg so a will be equal to area of connected part only and if this angle section is connected with the help of these longitudinal welds in that case we consider ae is equal to grass area mean the total area of this angle times the u factor so here u is equal to 1 for l greater than 2w if the length of weld is greater than 2 time of this distance between the two welds so we can use this u is equal to 1 or otherwise if it is between 2 time and 1.5 time of w then we can consider it 0 0.87 and if it is between 1.5 and 1 then we can consider it u is equal to 0 0.75 okay, in case of bolted connections the strength reduction factor is calculated by using this formula and its value should be less than 0 0.9 here x bar is the eccentricity of connection so what it means if we see this is the angle when we apply a tension load so the whole angle will be stressed uniformly so the resultant tensile force will be passing from the centroid of this section so centroid of section will lie somewhere over here and this leg is connected so at the connection the applied force is passing from here but the resistive force is passing from this plate so applied force is passing from this location and the resistive force is passing from this over here at the centroid of this gathered plate so there will be eccentricity between the applied load as well as the resistive load at the connection so this eccentricity is x bar so it is the eccentricity of connection and l is the length of the connection so the center to center distance between the bolts in one row so it will be equal to l so from the first to the last so x bar distance between centroid of element to the plane of load transfer and l is the length of connection in the direction of load